So do you need to banish negative energy from your life? If you're new to witchcraft or you just like to know what it is that you can do to get rid of some negative energy that you're feeling surrounded by, watch this video to see how you can learn to do this spell. So the main things you're going to need are all on your doorstep or they're in walking distance. If, if you live in a city, it may be a bit further out, but everything is accessible, especially if you're based in the UK. Now, the first thing you are going to need, which is really, really interesting and really good for spell work, is a charcoal burning disc. Um, you're obviously going to have to put that in something that is um, heat proof as well. So this is my little cauldron that I have. These you can buy in loads of shops, especially news agents. Another thing you will need is nettle. Obviously be really careful how you uh, collect it. Um, nettle is a really, really good herb. It's actually very good for repelling negative energy as well. Another really good thing to have is juniper. You can go to the juniper tree and take some of the, the leaves off of that. I didn't manage to get that, but you can buy juniper berries online as well from certain medicinal shops. Another one is the elder tree. The elder tree holds a lot of magical purpose to it as well. And in actual fact, it's a very good protective tree. So what you would want to do is you really would like, you need the bark really and some of the leaves if you can. Ideally, you would actually dry these all out before you did your spell work. And then you also need a long piece of black or dark colored thread, okay? So if we say all these things are actually ready for the spell work, what you really do need to do, the first thing is most important, is to consecrate your altar or consecrate your working space of where you do your magic. Now, the easiest way to do that is you really need to think about who it is that you want to be doing this energy to and for. Now, spiritual protection or, or magic protection is extremely important when you're doing spell work. So what you really want to do is focus on for almost imagining a white circle around yourself as well. Now, think about the gods or goddesses or deities that you will be asking for your protection and also think about who you are going to be asking to help assist you in this spell work. And do remember when you do do this kind of work you also are going to have to have a compromise with the spirit that you are working with because in actual fact if they're helping you they are going to want something in return so think about what it is you can give in return that can be anything from giving a little bit of change to somebody on the street that may need it to planting a tree or even leaving out some bird seeds for the, the wildlife as well Something that's achievable for you. It doesn't have to be anything massive, but it has to be working for the good of others or good for the world. Think about where this negative energy is possibly coming from as well. Now, what you basically want to do, you will be lighting this charcoal disc. Once that is lit, lit sorry, you will be then putting all of your herbs onto this. Now, as these are burning, you really want to be focusing your, your intentions onto where this negative energy is coming from. Now, if you think it's coming from a specific person, I want you to think of that person. If you think it's coming from a certain place or a situation, focus on that. This is when you will get your string. You'll pass your string through the smoke that is coming out of the charcoal disc, and you will be saying an incantation that is actually relevant to you, okay? Now, this is gonna be very much a, a very personal thing. So what you will be thinking about is the most important thing here is actually just remember everything comes back threefold. So whenever you do spell work, it always has to be for the good intent of others as well. So you basically want to be throwing that negativity back to that person. You don't want any, any damage to go to that person or that situation, but you take, you want that negative energy to come back. You hold the string on your heart, um, focus it towards the smoke that's coming off and say some words that will basically you're understanding where this negativity is coming from mention that person mention that situation once you have done that you will then tie this up because you want to send this back to that person or that place push it through once more say some words that you feel is relevant to you then you want on a separate plate to take this burn it and put it on the plate that has burnt okay 
Once this is all complete, everything should be done. You then take everything that has burned and put it into the garden as well, or put it in somewhere that it doesn't want to be kept in the house, that's for sure. So do let me know in the comments below if there's any spell work that you'd be interested in learning about, if there's any situations that you would like help with, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Here is where you can see some other similar witchy clips.